Hey everyone, before we get into downloading OpenFoam and developing our simulations, I think it is very important that we go through the fundamentals of OpenFoam. By this I mean we'll go over the general process for running your own simulations in OpenFoam. If you missed our previous video on the fundamentals of CFD, computational fluid dynamics, I recommend that you check out that video first and I will leave a link in the description below for you to do so. So, how do we take the steps presented in the previous CFD introduction video and actually implement them into OpenFoam? Well, there are three main steps once we have identified our goals and relevant equations that we need to solve. Firstly, we need to build our geometry and mesh so that we can place that into OpenFoam to actually solve our system of equations. That is, build our geometry for the systems of equations. This stage can be done using OpenFoam's native geometry and meshing called block mesh. This is excellent for simpler geometries and meshes. Just note that all these softwares and applications that I am talking about will be featured more in depth in future videos. For now, I am just introducing the names to you so that you can see where the various applications we are going to use fit into the total CFD process. Other than block mesh, we can use third party applications to create our geometries and meshes. The most popular one that I know of is called Salome or Salome. And it is an open source software. It is absolutely free and amazing. Once we have our geometry and meshing completed, we have our discretized geometry information that we can now hand to OpenFoam. So, currently, we have a file that contains our discretized mesh information that we place inside of an OpenFoam case study. We'll talk more about OpenFoam case study setups and what they look like in a future video. For now, just think of it like any other folder on your computer. In the second stage of our OpenFoam simulation, we need to tell OpenFoam information about our system. By that, I mean that we define initial and boundary conditions, material properties, or any other information that OpenFoam may require for our system. So, we currently have given our mesh and all the relevant information to OpenFoam. Then we move to what we call OpenFoam setup stage. In here, we can either pick an OpenFoam solver that can solve our previously developed system of equations or we need to make our own solver. We will talk about both of these more in a future video, so do not worry about that too much right now. So, now we run our solver and our CFD problem begins to be solved. After a certain amount of time, typically depending on both your computing power and the complexity of our problem, we now have a couple of files that contain the results of our simulation. These are basically just files that contain information of the system that we are solving for, so the outputs. But how do we visualize this data and see the results? Well, this is our final step, and this is called post processing. So, my preferred software for this is another free software called Paraview. This can be used to develop the output files that we developed in the OpenFoam setup stage. We're going to spend quite a few videos on this in the future. Alright, so that is the general process for running your own OpenFoam simulation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.